Hi friends, how are you? I'm Mohammed Leon from Leon's PD. Welcome to Leon's PD after two weeks. In this video, I will show you how to design mini notepad or mini notebook in MS Word. In previous video, also I have shown how to design notebook. If you want to watch that video, you can watch from i button or link is given in the description box. Okay, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. Without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. At first, we will go to layout from here margins, from here custom margins. So at top 0 inch, left 0 inch, bottom 0 inch and right 0 inch, click on OK. Now at this moment, there is no margin. Now we will go to size. This one is actually paper size. From here, more paper sizes. Then width should be 4.5 inch and height should be 6 inch. Just click on OK and see this is our notebook or notepad size. Okay, so see from here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 that means 4.5 inch and height is see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 inch. Okay, now at this moment we will insert table. So go to insert from here table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So take 8 row and 1 column. Just left click okay and now at this moment we will take this table little bit lower i think here is okay now at this moment just select all the row from here layout from here just increase the height to 0 0.3 okay so now at this moment what i'll do i'll take more row at bottom so keep your mouse pointer at the last row and from your keyboard just press tab okay i think i have taken enough row i will not take any more rows okay now at this moment what i'll do i'll select all the row from here table design and i'll select this table grid light this table style okay see how it looks it looks beautiful right so now what i'll do i'll insert company logo so for that go to design from here watermark from here custom watermark from here select picture watermark and select picture from here from a file just browse so i'll go to desktop from here i will select this picture okay just click on insert just keep in mind you have to select this washout otherwise the picture will be more brighter okay so if picture is more brighter if you write that written will not be seen clearly so you have to select washout from here then click on okay see how it looks if I don't select washout, then see how it looks. Watermark from here, custom watermark. Just remove the tick mark from washout, then click on OK. See how it looks. If it looks OK to you, you can use, no problem. But a standard rule is you have to select the washout. OK, so custom watermark, I'm selecting washout, and then OK. And now here I will add date and at bottom I will add company name and email. Okay, so at first here I will add date keeping 0.5 inch apart from the right. Okay, go to insert from here text box, draw text box. So here I will draw text box. But what you have to do, you have to keep it 0.5 inch apart from the right. Okay, I'm keeping it here. Here I'll write D A T E date and color should be from home i'll select light blue color okay and i'll take font size 14 okay and now go to shape format from here shape outline no outline and this one is 0 0.5 inch apart keep in mind i am taking it little bit here okay why you have to keep 0 0.5 inch apart from the right i'll tell you at the end of the video now here i'll add another straight line go to insert from here shapes from here this straight line so just left click and release so i will keep it here okay from here click on this arrow button from here i will select this one and now i will insert another rounded corner rectangle so go to insert from here shapes from here this shape okay so i'm drawing here so from here shape fill no fill shape outline just select this color okay now at this moment it looks okay now at bottom i'll add company name and email at the same way keeping 0.5 inch apart from the left so insert from here text box 
draw text box i'll draw text box here so company name is lmn company limited dot okay i'm selecting the text i'm going to home from here i'll change font to algerian okay font size should be 14 and font color should be this color so you can change font font color even font size according to your wish okay no problem is there now go to shape format from here shape outline select no outline now again i will add another text here so i'm going to insert from here text box draw text box i'll draw text box here and here i'll add email okay so e m a i l email should be l m n 2022 at the rate gmail.com okay i'm selecting the text i'm going to home from here i'll select font bound script okay i'll change font color from here 14 okay just increase the table okay again select the text i'm going to home from here just change the color to light blue okay so i'll take little bit here okay okay another thing is left that is go to shape format from here shape outline no outline okay so see how it looks our mini notepad design is complete now at this moment what i'll do just go to file from here print okay from here page setup from here margin okay see gutter is zero percent gutter position is by default left uh, gutter position is actually the position where there will be binding okay near about 0.5 inch space will be needing there okay so i am keeping gutter 0.5 inch from here okay see how it looks dead is here why i have taken 0.5 inch upper just because of this gutter okay if you choose 0.5 inch gutter then at left 0.5 inch space will be needing just because of binding okay if you don't want to gutter no problem i am showing you page setup from here just select gutter 0 then okay see how it looks it will be printing like this so if you want to print it so this 0.5 inch space will be needing there okay so it's totally your wish you can keep gutter you can keep it as it is no problem so if you keep gutter see this portion is going at the right side okay so what i'll do i'll keep this one little bit left okay so i'm going to home okay i'm going to here just shift little bit left okay now it looks okay so yeah that's it if you have any query just comment in the comment section i'll try to reply you can follow me on facebook and instagram the link is given in the description box hopefully you like that video if you do give a huge thumbs up share this content with your community thanks for watching see you in the very next tutorial till then take care